Hello Uber users, Alexi Uber Guide, and today I want to show you how we can render wireframe by using V-Ray Edges Text, V-Ray Edges Texture. Okay, as you can see here, I've got my wireframe rendered. I was using uh, Rolf Benz Vero scene here. And the reason for doing wireframes is actually to show the clean geometry. As you can see here, I optimized my scene, so the geometry of those sofas is not super clean. So this is probably something you wouldn't want to post. But on the floor, on the carpet here, on the sides, we can see the geometry is pretty clean. So it's working pretty good. I have another example of a wireframe of my Nuba core scene right here. So you can see geometry is looking pretty good. Second reason is actually to show the lighting as a primary lighting setup. We're going to use level one, which is a clay render. And it's always good to add those edges tags in order to have a little bit better representation of all our objects. So if we just do um, a regular frame with V-Ray dirt, we might not see all the details clear. So edges tags actually giving us much more clarity of our objects in the scene okay now the real reason for me doing this on my old models is actually i need to upload a wireframe image into turbo squid i started going through all my old models that i can sell on turbo squid and i already actually started posting some of them but they require a pretty high resolution and at least one wireframe image okay so this is what i'm going to show you today uh, how you can make a little bit more money selling your stuff on turbo squid and of course rendering wireframe because this is a necessary image upload in order for your model to be posted on the turbo squid website for sale okay now let me open my seen here not gonna save this i already rendered that all right so i've got my rolf bands here scene open let me just lower a little bit the rendering settings because this is way too high so i'm gonna put here four and let's do point five that way we'll be able to get it uh, much faster okay so if I click render and I'm not gonna save this just for the sake of idea and uh, I'll be able to execute and start my render as you can see here everything being uh, presented with textures and lighting so in order for me to make a good wireframe what I need to do is I'm going to stop this first I need to go and make this texture so I'm going to select regular V-Ray material let's call it wire frame and here in diffuse I'm gonna go and select V-Ray edges text now I need to take all my glass and actually exclude this so I have glass here my windows to my big windows okay so what I'm gonna do is actually let's also remove the background okay so everything besides my background and my glass is going to get this V-Ray edges text. So I'm going to edit, select, invert. And now by selecting the wireframe, I'm going to click assign material. And my material was added to everything here. So normally I would also take this uh, glass table and take it out. In some cases, I would also take the metal uh, out uh, chrome objects but in this scene I actually wanted to show you how we can use it uh, pure wireframe without glass okay so no extra models 
Now if we double click on this one, that's how the model is going to be represented with the white line. Actually not crazy about this, so let's make it a little bit darker. That way we will get this cool representation of our edges. Now we can do radius if we want to go thicker. Uh, you have to make a test render and see it all depends on how big is your resolution and um, your radius will determine how thick are those lines so you have to make a little render test in order to see uh, how thick are those wire frame lines actually appear okay so we're gonna do a quick render here just to see All right, so while this is being rendered, I just want to give you a final note that, in my opinion, this is something that can spice it up a little bit and really show how good is your lighting if it's uh, really perfectly balanced in your scene. This you can only see if you have this wireframe rendered and um, it will really give good representation of your you know lighting and rendering skills okay so while this thing been rendered we can see uh, how the lighting works how everything perfectly balanced we don't have any overexposures we don't have any underexposures so again I think this is a good addition to your portfolio and also a good addition if you do upload your scenes into TurboSquid and try to make a little buck here and there all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this post your comments below this is alex your beer guy talk soon